All right, YouTubers, Benjamin here. Never used this light before, so hopefully you can see my face. Anyway, I want to show you a do-it-yourself or build-it-myself, whatever you want to call it, welder. It is multiple things repurposed, um, and just uh, about a half hour ago, I finished it up and I plugged it in turned it on it's like okay it works you know this right here uh, this is the on off switch that I've had for over 22 years I don't know where I got it from I don't remember all I know is that it contains a couple of tree accidents meant, meant as a uh, industrial motor speed control or fan control for 115 volts um, the lowest range here I, I forgot that it's when you as soon as you turn it on it's instant high you got turned down low, so it's a good thing I installed the on-off switch, which also doubles the circuit breaker. Mm -hmm. This is also an on-off switch too. But anyway, this is a KB Electronics KVWC 115. Uh, anything that's up to 115 volts, well, probably 130 is okay, uh, just because utility voltage changes and up to 15 amps. So you got the power cord. Power cords repurposed from a high voltage UPS and the power comes in through the wire that you see there this one goes immediately into the, the hot or the, the the line or the hot immediately goes in the circuit breaker which like I said also serves as an on off switch that is a uh, from an old army surplus uh, communication shelter feeds into the motor speed control and then directly into the transformer the transformer I pilfered from a trip light 1000 watt UPS what that's actually 1000 watts usable um, what the VA rating is I have no clue anyway uh, and then it goes into the diode bridge here which you see is a couple of or four industrial diodes I uh, really wish I had all the same but I didn't uh, one of these is a diode pack that has the AC coming in and then here's here's the positive coming out and this is the negative so I had to come up with a very creative way on how to do that the copper here, the bus bars, this right here is flattened 3 8 inch um, copper water pipe. I made a video on how to do that and then uh, all I did was just drill those out. Up here is a 200 amp current shunt for the meter that did work. Uh, I uh, knew I should have checked first but it only liked 12 volts and I opened it on full and it was 17 and I heard a pop so it's the end of that so oh well it doesn't affect operation I don't care um, the gray wires you hear see here these might look familiar these are from a dryer cord so I took those out Oops, sorry and um, I uh, didn't have any six gauge copper lugs. I didn't want to go to the store and buy any. Sure, I could have, but um, I decided to make them. And they actually turned out pretty well. It's unfortunate that my crimpers for uh, for RF uh, coax didn't work out too well, so I had to solder them very well. But they turned out. And uh, the, comp in the case here is a repurposed Dell server case. Uh, don't know where I got it from, but whenever I get a new meter here in the front to tell me what the volts are and the current, at least what will happen is, is when I, when I adjust the voltage here um, to the transform, I'll be able to see the DC voltage out and uh, just doing some basic Ohm's law that's, you know, pretty easy to figure in the head. It's like, you know, once I um, get used to the machine and its quirks and see how it works I'll be able to say okay if it's 10 volts I'm going to get roughly 50 amps of current it also has a current thing on it but like I said the meter is bad now so oh well uh, the fan in here was perfectly placed this was the CPU fan so I, uh, I just left it right where it sits so what's going to happen as uh, time progresses I'll just build a little 12 volt uh, let's call it a subsystem power supply and that's what's going to power the meter and that's what's going to power the uh, the fan there and that's it they're really basic and if you take apart a regular traditional welder sure they're probably a little cleaner but this works um, the uh, the industrial diodes though, I wanted to touch on those because they are industrial um, diodes 
they're rated for 1.2 kilovolts or, or 1200 volts and these little black ones here are rated for 50 amps and these big ones here are rated for 100 amps a piece but like I said each of them are rated for for 1200 volts so I really don't have to worry about any kind of uh, um, them blowing out from from the arc the uh, they need to be heat sink diodes of that size absolutely must be heat sinked I didn't plan on this this just kind of worked out so when I drill the holes not only does it have the metal on the inside to you know uh, sink the sink the heat well let me see the the the, the, the uh, heat is also going to pass through the bolts here and this will dissipate some of the heat on those that's the terminals yes I will get smart <laughs> and identify them so I know which is which uh, or for some reason or another I get crazy and let somebody borrow it which that's probably never going to happen just uh, all kinds of things but I put this washer here on the outside to indicate to me that this, this is a negative terminal this is the positive terminal Let's see if I can't turn the video off I guess not or the light anyway that's it and like I said I plugged it in it works uh, it doesn't blow up the transformer hums nice and quietly throws out the amount of voltage that I was expecting and uh, after it stopped raining here because as soon as I started making the video it started thundering so part two to come to uh, me uh, watch me use this thing and we'll see what happens the grill is going to be the first victim and with this little thing here that I just printed off on a 3D printer it's meant for a Samsung Galaxy S4 but uh, I have an S3 but anyways it works just fine I haven't fully mastered printing out ABS but anyways that's what it's gonna do if you have any questions please ask uh, I try to respond in about 24 hours sometime sooner if I like you uh, and hopefully I'm still alive after I after I start welding so we'll see if you don't see part two is because I didn't make it thanks